In this video, we are going to review how to divide something in scientific notation by something else in scientific notation. This example reads that we have 7.6 times 10 to the second power being divided by 3.2 times 10 to the negative sixth power. So what we can do is start off by dividing 7.6 by 3.2. And to speed things up a bit, let's just use a calculator. So let's input into the calculator 7.6 divided by 3.2, which gives us a quotient of 2.375. The next thing that we have to do is to divide 10 to the second power by 10 to the negative sixth power. When you are dividing bases that are the same, what you can do is take the exponents of those bases and subtract them. So you take the base and just write it one time, and then you write the exponent that is at the top, and then you subtract it from the exponent at the bottom, which in this case is negative 6. So we have 2.375 times 10 to the power of 2 minus negative 6. And when you are subtracting a negative number, remember we have to change those into positive values. So now we can rewrite this as 2.375 times 10 to the 8th power. The next thing that we have to do is to check and see if this is in scientific notation. In front of your decimal, you are only allowed to have a single digit. And that single digit has to be a value between 1 and 9. And of course, 2 is within that range. So everything here is in scientific notation format. So this is our final answer, 2.375 times 10 to the eighth power. Now we are also being asked to express our answer in decimal notation. That just means you take a look at the exponent of the base 10 and you are going to have to move the decimal that many place values. You just have to determine whether you move the decimal that many spaces to the left or to the right. Well, if you take a look, 10 to the 8th power is a really large number, so of course 2.375 has to increase in value. And the only direction that you can move this decimal to increase its value is to the right. So let's write the digits 2, 3, 7, 5, and move this decimal point here 8 spaces to the right. So we can move from here to here, that's one place value, and then 2, 3, and now we have to add five more zeros, so we have a total of eight place values. And the decimal would go all the way at the end. And from that decimal, we move to the left every three place values and write a comma. So 2.375 times 10 to the eighth power is equal to 237,500,000. Let's try another example. First, let's start by dividing 8 by 16. And we should note that 8 over 16 is the same thing as 1 half. And as a decimal, 1 half is equal to 0 0.5. Next, we take the base of 10 and we subtract the exponent at the top, which is negative 1, from the exponent at the bottom, which is negative 2. And when you see consecutive negatives, or you are subtracting a negative, Remember, we have to consider those positive. So now we can rewrite this as 0 0.5 times 10 to the first power. But if you take a look, this is not in scientific notation format because the value in front of the decimal is 0. And this value in front of the decimal has to be between the number 1 and the number 9. So what we can do to change this to scientific notation is to take this decimal here and move it one place value to the right, which would change 0 0.5 into 5.0. But if you end up moving this decimal, then you have to change the exponent that is attached to this base 10 right here. And if you move the decimal over to the right, what's going to happen is, because you made this number larger, you have to make this value smaller. So we're going to change this 1 into a 0. 
And the reason that we took one away from this exponent is because we moved the decimal point one place to the right. So now our answer is in scientific notation format, and this is our answer. 5 times 10 to the 0 power. Now what we have to do is express our answer in decimal notation. So let's take the number 5 and write it right here, and we move the decimal point this many place values. Well, of course, this is 0, so we don't have to move this decimal to the left or the right. So that is where it is going to remain. So 5 ends up being the answer in decimal notation.